We don't like to think so. Richard, look, let's look at politics back home. We're seeing another GST row today. New South Wales is calling foul over its latest round of distribution. Are they right to do so? I'm sorry, I missed that uh, the last bit. Oh, I was just wondering your thoughts on the, the GST distribution. We've seen the ah. New South Wales Premier Chris <laughs> Minns today saying yeah. essentially that this is a joke, too much money is going to Victoria and, of course, Western Australia. What do you make of it? I mean, Anthony Albanese isn't in any position politically to change it, considering the seats that he no, needs he, in WA. He, he can't change it, and, and Chris Minns has a duty to whinge. Um, and, and we've been hearing the same whinge for decades. It just goes on and on every year there's a complaint. The Western Australia gets too much, and it probably does, uh, but so what? I mean, I don't think anyone in Sydney really feels terribly deprived because of what's happened in, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a way that the uh, money's being distributed. I, I just don't see that. So uh, it's just one of those things where you say forever thus. Yes, and, uh, well, Tasmania, usually someone that gets a, a state, rather, that gets a, a better distribution as well. The uh, campaign, of course, well and truly on in earnest, just a week and a half to go until Tasmanians go to the polls, and it's looking like a minority government could be the result. Yeah, it, it certainly is. I mean, um, uh, you know, it's a, you've got to remember, that's a small place. Um, Tasmania's got a population smaller than Newcastle. I think a lot of us forget that. Um, and uh, and so it doesn't take many votes to change things down there. If you've got enough um, uh, cousins and uh, um, friends and, and mates, you can uh, you can achieve great things with very few votes. So I don't, we'll, we'll wait and see what transpires. Um, but it's been a long time since Labor had the, uh, the numbers in Tasmania. I suspect they'll fall short again. Well, Parliament is returning to Canberra next week. What are you expecting to be on the agenda? We've seen a lot of debate while uh, Parliament's been on a break around uh, the Coalition's nuclear ambitions. Also, this detainee saga keeps rolling on for the government. Yeah. Look, I, I, uh, I, I worry about this whole uh, nuclear argument. Um, you know, in Labor, it's, it's been um, very fashionable to reject uh, too much nuclear influence, you know, we had the three mines policy, um, which was meant to just sort of park the issue away, get us through an election. Um, but it's never been definitive enough uh, to decide the future. And we need to decide that future. So I'd like to see a, a, a better result on uranium policy uh, in, in Labor's platform. And that would require some, some big changes. But reality is now, uh, you know, throughout America, you've got plenty of these uh, very small nuclear units that are, it'll just look after a, a one town or one city, uh, and you're going to see more of that. You're not going to stop nuclear power by sticking your head in the sand and saying, I don't like it.